Hey, what's up Spartans? Welcome back to another episode of Seek a Night, where we are focusing on some Halo action figures. This was a Target exclusive. It came out maybe a year, two years ago. It's been a while. And I saw them when they first came out one time. And I was like, oh, I don't have the money right now, but I'll keep an eye out. And then the next time I came back to that Target, it was gone. And then every other time I checked the Targets, they were gone. Now I did see them on the website a few times and they would come and go on the website. And at one point, I even saw them for $10 on the website, but then when I went to buy it, it was already sold out, or at least it said, until they got restocked again. So I was like, oh my god, I'm just destined to not get this pack, whether it's a good deal or the regular price, <laughs> you know? So luckily, though, these went on sale for $10, and a lot of people bought a whole bunch of them. And then I guess they had problems flipping them. So when I went to eBay... I saw someone selling like a hundred of these. I guess they bought a, a whole ton of them and uh, and they were only selling them for 20 bucks with free shipping. So I said, hey, I cannot beat that. That's a really good deal. That's five bucks a figure, which is amazing. And this was normally a $40 set. So I'm very happy I got it at that price for 20 bucks. That's amazing because I'm really buying it for this Master Chief. <laughs> this is the only reason I'm really buying it. And that Grunt too, because I kind of already have a version of this Master Chief and a version of this Grunt. But I'll still take them both. It's cool. We got a Grunt Conscript here and a Master Chief from Halo Infinite. But we got Halo, the original Combat Evolved versions of Master Chief's armor and a Grunt Miner with the Plasma Pistol. So I'm excited to check those two figures out. So let's crack this case open and check all four out. So we'll go ahead and look at the Grunt Conscript that comes with the set first, since we've already kind of have looked at this figure before. And he comes with a Plasma Pistol. So you can just pop that in his hand right there. And thank goodness these come with the base plates. I'm a big fan of these base plates. I know some people aren't. Some of these characters need help standing, so it's good for that reason. But I also like connecting them and building little battle scenes. So for me, this is really neat to get four base plates and four figures, all for 20 bucks. What a deal. And uh, yeah, this is awesome to get. Another grunt. I'm never upset when I build my grunt army. So this one is really cool. Got the elbow joints, got the knee joints. And like I said, if there's ever a point where they get a little rigid, you just put them in some warm water and they'll loosen up for sure. Um, but yeah, just a quick look at him, just to show him off for those who haven't seen one of the conscript versions of the Grunt before. He's really neat looking. Next up is Master Chief from Halo Infinite, once again, coming with his assault rifle. And uh, well, other versions of this had either this weapon, or, you know, they got different weapons. So every time you buy one of him, most of the time they come with different weapons. But he's got his armor that's damaged. Looks like he's been through the thick of it, which makes sense because in Infinite, he definitely gets his butt kicked a few times, especially at the beginning. Um, but yeah, the joints are really good, really solid. Actually, this one is very sturdy, uh, much like one of the other ones I have. There was one Master Chief I felt like was a little loose on the joints, but this one is, he's solid, man. It's a good figure. And you can pose him in a lot of different ways. You can have him hold the gun a couple different ways. You can have him two-hand like this, which I've, you know, I usually pose him in uh, sometimes, so you can have that kind of action going. And he too comes with a base plate that you can put him on just in case you want to add him to a battle scene or create a battle scene with some of your other characters. So yeah, really, really cool. Okay, on to the Grunt Miner. I'm very excited to finally take a look at this guy after seeing pictures of him for quite a while now. Uh, he is very cool looking. He's about as sturdy as the other grunts, a little back heavy at times because of this. So you have to kind of tilt him forward when you stand him up, or you can kind of tilt him evenly, but he's still a little hunched. And that's because of some of the weight this provides, but it's not too bad. Um, they stand up for the most part. I've had my four grunts that are over there right now. They've been standing this whole time, and I don't think, I think one fell one time. So pretty good. You know, that's a, that's a long time because they've been standing up for, you know, a couple months now. Um, I've had them out of the packaging and up on the shelf again so so yeah very very neat having a halo one grunt having that kind of paint application but also some of the molding on them to make them look a little different a little less detailed uh, at times you know the gas mask isn't fully painted the way they kind of put it as part of the helmet there instead whereas in this other one you actually get to see a full design on it with all the details but i do like that like it it, it definitely harkens back to the first halo game and what the grunts look like. And I know some of the other grunts in like wave six or something came with the, the plasma grenades. And I wish he had one, man, do I wish, because that grunt I can't find anywhere. And he comes with two plasma grenades and I'm like, yes, more grenades. Like we need more of those for our world of halo figures. Um, and we also need a hunter. So, you know, anyone out there from Jazzwares, so you know, please make a deluxe hunter. That would be amazing. 
Uh, but right now, having this guy, this miner here, is really awesome. And I'm going to have him on his platform here. And then we're going to move on to the last figure of the set, which is Halo 1 Master Chief, which is one of the main reasons I bought this whole set. And he looks beautiful. I mean, he is awesome. And it's not just different paint applications from the other Master Chief figures. This is, there are different molds in here, for sure. Um, and so, yeah, like the knees are different than the other version of him, you know? Uh, the thighs are different. They're a little smoother in certain areas. And, the you know, the, the rivets are in different areas. So they did a really good job finding, you know, Master Chief from Halo 1, finding, like, the look of him with that visor and everything. Like, this is top-notch. And I'm actually going to put him with his gun on the back. And we're going to pose him in a cool superhero, like, standing up, looking up at the sky kind of pose. Because he's going to go with my other Master Chief uh, figures. So, so I'm going to finally complete that set. I just need the Halo 5 Master Chief, which I actually found on Amazon. And someone sold them to me for like 12 bucks, which is awesome. So now I have all six Master Chiefs from this wave. And also the see-through one, the, the one that's cloaked, I have him too. So all seven. And, uh, and we're going to get into that one in the next video. But for now, I just wanted to show these off. And give you my quick opinions on them. I think they're awesome. <laughs> I think for twenty dollars this was a steal. For ten dollars this was a mega steal. Whoever got them at ten dollars. But even if you paid forty dollars, these are amazing still. I mean, these are awesome figures, worth ten dollars each. Uh, I would say the only reason I was a little hesitant on this one is because it's a figure I already have, and also the Grunt Conscript. But even him, it's still cool to have another one. But having these two down here was awesome. So to get all these for five bucks each mega mega steal awesome deal so thanks to the person on ebay that's selling them for 20 bucks and uh and thanks to all of you halo fans out there for watching this video hopefully you got through it if you do let me know down below what you think of these characters and these figures have you bought this set do you want to buy this set check ebay if you haven't bought it yet it's really it's you know it's on good deals there you can find good deals and i know that there are halo figures popping up in rosses now left and right and i've gone to multiple rosses in the past couple weeks and have found next to nothing so better luck than me. I hope that you have. So, you know, get out there, Spartans, and go look for these figures. They are amazing. And we have more Halo Jazzwares vault figures coming in the mail very soon. So my next toy reviews after the Wave 5 or 6 with the Master Chief from Halo 5, we have him and a skirmisher. Once we get through those, then we're going to have some more Jazzwares vault figures. So thanks so much for watching. See you in the future. Peace.